What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another Tectonica video. It's been a while since we've uh, released one of these. It was like the start of the month. But welcome back. I'm trying to just go over what I've just been recently doing. And if I remember correctly, we're just kind of setting up the iron, the copper. We found that location with all the, the the grabbers and what was it? The 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 these things, the planter and the thresher. But we need to get power for this. And for us to get power, we're going to have to go into our research here and unlock the crank generator. So we're going to do that like straight away. Um, and we're going to look at putting some of these down i don't know how much these are going to cost us right now copper components and electrical components but hopefully you're on a good morning afternoon and evening and remember if you enjoyed the video remember to like subscribe and also leave a comment even if it's just a bloody emoji uh, and let's crack on with today's video so i want to get some crank generators down so we've got components electrical components and uh all that good stuff so we can put down quite a bit of these we can literally put a few down maybe 10 they're going to produce 150 kilowatts so then we're going to put some of these down. I think we literally just put them side by side to each other. And then they automatically connect, I think. I could be entirely wrong here. Or do I have to... Because these are all hand cranks, right? I'm pretty sure we have to put these together. Because if we inspect it, we can activate the crank. Or is it a research I need? It might be a research I need. It might be something I need regarding this area. So for, like right now... I've got to activate all these manually, but I was pretty sure we could think, I think it might be a research, which means we've got to activate all of these like every five minutes. So to keep the power up and running, we can see the whole floor now changed. So we can like, it indicates that all this floor and the foundation is now powered. So we can start putting some stuff down, which I want to start looking into like the whole planters and threshers. So we can start making like the biomass and fuel and stuff like that. So we can start powering all of these back up. Otherwise we're going to end up running out of biomass over here. And I kind of want to keep it because it looks bloody gorgeous. So let's put down a planter and let's just have a look. Breaker, Hi, Sparks. Don't forget that it needs electricity to run. And that means you need to build it on a power floor that has a working crank generator what? on it, too. Can you not see what I've done? After you put Kindlevine seeds into this planter, your next step is to build a thresher that can turn the Kindlevine it grows into Kindlevine stems. Okay. If you're looking for seeds, you probably have some on you already from all that freestyle landscaping you've been doing. Okay. I support you in that. You see, you already know I've got seeds on me, but you don't know I've got flipping power. I thought you was meant to be a smart AI there, Sparks. Or whatever you are. So we put the seeds in here, and then they're growing now. We can see that going up. And then when that gets to 100%, four of these will get released, I think. But this is what the uh, developers sent me. They sent me like a little 3D printed version of this. And it kind of illuminates. It's got a little switch on the bottom. And then these little vines here kind of like light up, which is kind of cool. I've got it on my shelf. It's weird... Like, I'm I'm getting very creeped out by how these are kind of, like, growing. Like, it's weirdly weird. It's in, like, the uncomfortable stage. But I can't stop staring at them. And they're only at 65.4%. I think I'm going to need to grab the grabbers from these, though. Because then these will go onto here. Because what I'm trying to do now is just a science and kind of see what, what this kind of does. And then we can start making it, like, kind of, like, mass producing it, kind of. Um, wait, is this a long grabber? Or is this a speedy boy? This is a speedy filter way, right? Inserters are especially critical for machines like threshers that no, are useful for seeds inserter. and plant matter. You might not want to have different things spitting out to the same line or getting pulled into the same machine. And the filter inserter is going to help you with that. That is true. So we can inspect this and we can choose what it wants to do, right? So it's going to it's going to spit out the Kindle vine. So the Kindle vine is now coming out. Is that all it's going to spit out? Yeah, yeah, because we're going to want the... Wait, where do we get the seeds from? I thought this... Oh, no, no, no. I think if we put down a thresher, which is this big ass big boy, we, let's say, if, for example, we put this here, right? We then get you to input that into there, right? We assign you to, do, do, because we thresh this. I'm pretty sure we thresh this. Why are you not grabbing? Oh, because I need to assign you, don't I? You go into there, you start threshing. You're going to you're gonna create two items and one should be seeds. Yes. Well so done, then what we're going to do... Your first Kindle Vine stem just got threshed, and you're on your way to repairing PT Victor. Yeah, we've got to make sure the, the seeds go back now, into so these automatically. You from your mistakes and then... Instead of buzzing in your ear about them. This stuff. What's this? What's this? What's that? Kindle Vine stems. That's what we've got to use, right? So then Kindle Vine stems... Where do One they go? Thought. Those stems you're making are more than good for PT Victor. They're also a better fuel than plant matter will ever be. Okay. Put a few into your drills and smelters, and you'll see what I mean. Now I feel like she Good just luck. answered my question, literally. Threshing initiated. Okay, so, so we, we use that. 
for power, which is good to know. So what I need to figure out now is how many of these a thresher do we need to these? Products out of one material. So make sure you have inserters pulling out both, even if you only need one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a byproduct. I know. I'm, I'm not new to this sort of thing, you spoon. Well, I'm new to this game, but still. So maybe we just science it and we just put down a, a, like multiple of these. Because these are going to require four seeds per each one, right? And I'm guessing for every stem, we're going to get one seed and one of the, the, the sticks. The stick things, the Kindle vine sticks. Whatever they're called again. So let's make a few of these. I don't know how many we're gonna, I'm going to need. And we'll say we'll get like a couple of threshers. But if I'm not mistaken as well, there is some other plants, which are the blue seeds, which do something else, which I believe is something to do with dust and makes this maybe shiver thorn. I think it's something to do with this. I'm, I'm going back here months and months. Um, so I'm trying to remember this, but this is currently crafting. And then we're... Oh, God. And then we're going to put down... How many of these do we need? Um, I don't know. I'm just going to kind of put down four, five, six, maybe. Maybe. And then we get uh, a belt to go around here. To go all the way down here like this. And then we grab... Do I not have any... Oh, I've got normal inserters here. So we want normal inserter to grab you, you, to put into there. So that means the seeds will go into there. You're going to output straight into the thresher, right? Or do we put them into storage? Maybe we put the seeds into storage, maybe? Question mark? No, maybe not. And then a thresher. I don't know if this is going to be how many, how, like, the threshers, how many of these are going to require, right? Because these are going to, like, the plants take a while to grow. So maybe we just get all these to go into one thresher and just see how much the demand is for that. Maybe. So let's put down one of these. And I guess we can turn it kind of this way. Put you there. And then we'll get ourselves our belt put you here like so and then you there and then we'll have everything kind of gather up into this location right and then we'll just get you to grab you to grab 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 and that's going to be for all the seeds and then we need to do some filters because we're going to need to send seeds this way so the seeds go around and we make sure that is set to seeds no yeah 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 yeah, yeah that's right because these are all going to send out Kindle vines anyway. So we don't need to do filters on these. So we do that. So that's set to the, these seeds. And then here, we just need to get the storage, right? So let's just say we go storage, storage with a belt going along there, which will be a filter inserter from there to there. You're going to be set to the these these Kindle vine stems. And then we'll just get you guys to input into there, right? That should be fine. So let's fill up these with seeds. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Now we just need to wait for all these to grow. But we don't have any power because I need to crank all these again. Activate crank. Crank it. Crank it. And now that we've got a bit of power, these should grow. Which do take a, a while to build. Like even the ones over here are only like 50%. But what we want to make sure is how well is this thresher going to hold up with what we're going to receive here. Because I don't know if like every Kindle vine... Uh, stem ring thing, whatever they're called, are going to give us a seed every time. Because what we don't want to see is this being a sushi line and multiple items are going on this, right? Well, I guess science. 98, 99, 100. Okay. Here comes these things. So they'll get put into the thresher. Thresher does its business. Starts chopping these down. And then, okay, st sticks go that way. We've not got any seeds yet. Where's my seeds? Why are my seeds not coming out? Have I got you the wrong way? Have I got this the wrong way? I think I might have that the wrong way. Hold. Hold. Want the arrow to face that way. So we want you to be seeds. Yeah, I was. it was the wrong way. My, my bad. My bad. So the sticks go in there for fuel. Seeds are then going back around. And then you should grab seeds to put back into there. To then start growing our plants again. I feel like one thresh is good. I, I think one thresh can really hold... A lot more. I feel like we need to grow a farm. Because by the time this thresher has even consumed these ones here, I don't even think these are going to be grown. Because if we look in the bottom left, this says it needs uh, 10 a minute. It's going to output 30 sticks per minute and 10 seeds per minute. And these, it doesn't really tell you. It just kind of... I think it's maybe two per minute. So maybe every two of these? Yeah, so each of them are going to be doing... Okay interesting but obviously these are all going to come out at different rates now because of the input of the seeds 
But if our thresher suddenly stops here in a minute, I want to keep this thresher moving and it should stop. It means we need to put more of these down, right? So if we shift everything over by one and put the like the more plants on this side, actually, I could just let's build more foundations here. Um, where's my foundations? Here. Right? What about if we take this this way and then we take this by another one? There's a wall here. Where's my mole? Be gone! And then we can just kind of take that to the end. Bada bing, bada bosh. I think I need to take get the mole up again here. Then we place you there. And then we put all your brothers and sisters down next to you. Four. four. Oh, I need two more. One, two. Wait for them to get made. And then place you there. And then place you there. And then grab her, grab her, grab her, grab her. Grab her. Grab her. And then I need a splitter. No, we don't, because it's not going to get grabbed from there, isn't it? And then we need to come from this side. Oh, I need to do another line of things here. Oh, crap. Um, okay, I need to... Can I put this bloody miner away, please? Take this along here. I need to put another belt in. So from there, to bring all, all the Kindle Vine stuff down. Take you... Crap. Take you along there. But we need that to go over there, right? That's my plan. So if we just do that, I'm just going to put a foundation here. Here. That'll go up or over, but it won't come down there, will it? Or will it? You to go up there, up into here. Rotate that. There we go. Yeah. Got it. I hate these. I don't know. I don't like how steep these look. But uh, I believe there's a new update coming soon with uh, lifts. So uh, look forward to seeing that. Start cranking all these again. And then put the seeds in there. Like that, like that, like that. Bada bing, bada bosh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, crap. I wonder why that come down here so far. Whilst like, these are like, I put them the bloody wrong way. Grab from the, grab from machine to put to belt. Machine to belt, machine to belt, like that. Okay, everything is fine. Everything is perfect. Everything is fine and bloody dandy. So let's see if this thresher now holds up with what we have in production. Right, so I've been watching this for a little bit and it do, the thresh is constantly moving and this seems to be like the natural kind of amount that we're kind of sitting on on the belt so either i'll look at putting down a second one but the other problem is as well is right now this thresher is only working uh you know not efficiently because if we look at our power menu we can see that we are way over the limit of what we're currently producing uh, I did see this number around like 2,000, maybe 3,000 I think it was, especially when all the planters was growing. Right now they're not because they're just not receiving the seeds down this end. Like, so it does seem like right now, six might be the good amount for a thresher, pretty certain. And that seems to be a good number because that's the only ones that seem to be like replenishing. Because if we look down here, like these ones are still collecting seeds. These ones are still collecting seeds. These ones are just sitting here being idle. So we could possibly remove these and uh, just kind of go with just the one line instead, uh, which is what the initial build was uh, but i've also been getting these kindle vine stems out of here these sticks and i've kind of put these into fuel but then i've just thought of it we need to unlock operation victor right because these cranks are doing my head in because every now and again i've got to keep coming over to these activating cramp but because we need the research for it right and i can't see the research for it but i think i need to unlock uh victor to actually see this and i think it might be this one which is the the, the cranks actually connect unless it's in another section, but I doubt it. It would make sense if it's going to be in power. So let's check uh, the Victor again and see what I needed. And that is 490 iron ingots, 490 copper ingots, and 90 Kindle Vine stems. So we have the iron. So let's put that in there. Let's put the copper in there. Then grab these Kindle Vine stems. I've got 22 there. I've got 79 in total. I'm going to need to steal one from you guys. No. Well, we'll just take that. And then we can put that in there. Repair the terminal. Bada bing, bada bosh. See you're unlocked. New technologies available. Beautiful. Terminal upgraded. New technologies and recommended tasks available. Why, thanks, Sparks. It's time to do a bit of exploring and take things to the next level with those threshers, Breaker. Now that you have Kindle Vine stems, you'll need to thresh them a second time to make plant matter fiber. And then you can either use the fiber to handcraft the plant matter frames or build an assembler to do it twice as fast. Ooh. If you haven't found assemblers yet, keep working on unlocking more signals or go for a walk on your own. You never know what you might come across. Okay. Local signal deciphered. Ingress HA1976. Report to production terminal Victor for triangulation. Oh, I need to use the radio thing. So let's scan for signal that. Triangulated. 
New location added to HUD. Beware of current. Okay. So we've got the log menu. We've got all these logs, new stuff. And we've also got a new task to do as well, which is supply and upgrade production terminal Victor by depositing 190 plant matter frames, 2,400 iron ingots, 2,400 copper ingots. Decipher the signal PX0001 by crafting an unknown number of plant matter frames in an assembler. And for assemblers, we've not found them yet anyway. So that does mean we have to go around and look for some which i'm going to guess the ha symbol over there is going to give us uh, the uh, the blueprint for it um oh my god these cranks crank 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 and crank if i'm going to go through this you guys are going through it uh but yeah it does seem like six is a good number and we're still sitting on this so if i was to get another assembler down to produce these we get one of them to maybe put the sticks um sticks to go into storage kind of like what it is doing now so, so just we can kind of get these power in then we'll get another one going we'll supply these six uh we'll power up these ones to then get a second thresher going and in doing so we can then send that stuff the seeds back around here and the the stems to the next production line to make the frames i think that's might be the plan so let's head over to this signal and see what it's going to give us we might have to tunnel around here i might as well just pick some of this up right just to get some more seeds and stuff even though i shouldn't need it but i could do with the extra fiber just to power the uh, copper and the iron up as a temporary solution until we make more power where am i going here wait should i just follow this river go under here maybe not time for the mole mole give me a tunnel thank you very much so we've got to look out for assemblers because that's what we're trying to find right now. Oh, here's them blue plants I was talking about. Silver thorn. I know we've got to definitely got to do something. Oh, wait. Am I? Is my inventory full? No, I just can't seem to grab that one for some reason. Wait, I need to scan this. This is the assembler, isn't it? Boop. Boop. Okay, so we've got one assembler part. Need to find more. There's one here, and there's literally one here as well. Assembler. Power with electricity to produce items in multiply quantities. In other nice. Words, oh my god, look at all that machinery. Handcraft anything. Assemblers will make two of them in the same time it takes your portable tool to make one. Hell yeah. And we can build a thousand assemblers, but nobody could ever build another you. The nobody can you build another me. Wheels, the closer you'll be to never having to turn a crank generator again. Nice. You should check out that office too. Okay, so we definitely want these. I'm, I might even refurbish this whole place and maybe... Oh, here's some more crank generators. But then we've got these the turbines. So maybe we refurbish this area and tr uh, direct all the power over to our current base. And we'll find out how much these are going to make. Because I'm going to guess these will go into the cranks. Let's have a look at research. Oh, yeah. Crank connect. Here we go. Boom. Connect it. Right. That's the thing I was talking about, where they actually line up and they'll uh, connect to each other now. So I only need to crank one and then all the others will connect. Now they've got a bar in between them. Beautiful. We've also got batteries. More assemblers, which we've already got. I might as well just remove them. And then look at all these. Oh boy. What is this? What the hell is this? Scanning that core composer fragment seems to have given you a free one in your inventory. Drop it down whenever you get the space and power a to make core it work. composer. After that, you'll be able to dump cores into it and never worry about placing them one at a time again. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What is this now? Is this a high voltage or something? Like beams? Hello? Friendly? Can I get in here? Entrance offline interactor repair. Facility access door unavailable. Refer to display panel for self-repair requirements. Advanced circuits 800 and processor units 300. Yeah, yeah, we'll come back later. What is this? Oh, that's the uh, heavy cable. So what I'm thinking we do now is kind of repair this platform and then put these wheels in here. Uh, have we got them? Or have we just unlocked them in the tree? I don't think we've unlocked them yet, have we? Yeah, water wheels. They're currently locked. But the accumulator needs 20. And that's for batteries. So we need to complete this next objective to get up here to get to this water wheel. Okay, so I'm back at base and I can put all these research things now on this thing. Does it need power in? Does this need power in? This big wheel thing. This big thing. I don't know if it needs power in or not. Or is it automatically unlocking here? 
So we get a free one, right? So we have to research this as well. Science. I don't see it in here. Ah, so it goes to kindle vine threshing, then to stem threshing, and then to plant matter. So we need to get the threshing, the kindle vine thresh, the sticks, and then that'll turn into the threshing. So that you need to go into another thresher afterwards. I just don't have enough power right now. Okay, so I've removed all my little crank things here and I made a long boy. Literally, uh, I don't know how many I placed down because I was getting fed up of not having enough power. So now we are producing 2,850, which is all right. So everything should hit, be like running more operational over here and a, a, a bit more efficient. But I do need to look at putting the second thresher down now. So I might have to change some things around here. Put a second thresher in. In doing so, we get another thresher, which feeds... Well, so we get one of these threshers that will put down here to feed another thresher, which will then make the the this stuff, the stem threshing. Then that stem threshing goes into an assembler to make plant matter frames. And then that will help us towards our objective. And in doing so, I think that will give us the objective over there to be completed. Yeah, we need 190 plant matter frames. But saying that, we need so many iron and got some copper right now. And I that's why I need this second one running. Because if we have another one running here, and then I have that one making the, the frames, this one over here can make these to actually be used for fuel. But I don't know if the production rate of this is going to be fast enough to keep all of these fueled. So maybe looking into, at some point, trying to get these to be electric, maybe? Or even to get filled by... What if I just get all of these um, sticks to be sent around here, to be long inserted into the machines maybe maybe but first we need to delete these little storage containers i'm gonna remove the thresher as well and all the belts like so and then i'm gonna make a u-turn of a belt here which is gonna be a bit random and then i'm gonna put down a thresher here with a how do i want to do this how do i want to do this so if we was to put down a yeah, if we were to put that down there, this thing comes along here, which is going to be for the stems. And then we're going to need another one of these to go, say, here. Because then this is going to feed another thresher, right? Because then this thresher is going to get put into here, yeah, I think. So let's say if I was to do that, then I grab my belts again, because this is going to be seeds here. So that's going to be the seeds. Then we're going to have the seeds from over here. So that needs to come along here. But what I want to do is I'm going to put down, I guess I'll just put that there. That's not intentionally needed to be there. But do that, take that over, go over here. That then connects up with that one. And then we put a filter inserted to over there, and then one to go there. That will then make grab the seeds this one then will grab the seeds this one will grab the uh and we just run out of power this one will grab them you're gonna go into here and then are you gonna make a byproduct i don't know maybe i just put a stick in there and let's see what if this makes a byproduct oh it does it makes dust kindle vine extract so i don't know what we can do with that but this is what we're after for the the things right so let's take these out of here you're going to get put into storage we need a filter inserter at this location to then make you pull out you actually you could just go straight into a storage i guess you could just go straight onto an input of a storage oh god damn it i put these way too close let's remove this u bend i did just put that there you grab in there put into there same for you you guys don't need that much you only need technically two inputs Okay, but they're then set up. You're then going to put the sticks into that storage, right? Yeah. You're putting the seeds over there. That means you'll put go into there. That means then you're going to make this. Then you're going to make two products, which is going to be one go into the assembler, and then the other one needs to go into another filter inserter because this will be the, the Kindle Vine extract. And then we need an assembler, which I need to unlock here, and then build one, maybe. And then we'll place you, we'll place you there. And then we'll get a, another filter inserter to input you into there. So then for you to make them, which you only need this stuff, right? And that makes it pretty quick. And then from here, we need another storage, which I guess I can just put next to this in case we need to do something with these later on. So then I'll just put you there, I guess. You to output onto that belt, and then you to put onto that belt and then put into that storage. 
I think that would work. I Cask think. Inbound. Okay. So I now just need to put my seeds up in here. Get all this production going again. And then, of course, run out of power. Boot that back up. We're actually pretty close to the power usage as well. But I don't know if the... If because this assembler's not on, it's not consuming power. Actually, it is. So even when it's idle, it's still consuming power. Okay, so the plants are now extracting. We're then consuming all of these stems, these little vines. We then got the sticks going into there. Sticks are then coming along here, going into here, which is then making the, the hair. There's so much words I need to get used to. These plant matter. So the plant matter fiber then goes into the assembler, which then makes these frames. The frames then get put into storage. The... What is this? Kin Kindle vine. This, the extract then comes out of here, goes into storage. Obviously, this will fill eventually, and it will bottleneck. So whichever is going to be filling the fastest, which I'm going to guess is going to be the uh, that. But by the time that fills, hopefully we're working on maybe producing what that is. And we kind of have things moving here. I did get a radio message telling me to go over here, though. But let me just check my journal. Um, tier 2... So we need 190 plant matter frames, which we've already got 20. And then we need a lot more iron and copper, which I definitely don't have that much. So let me crank the power again to make sure we're okay with that. Grab as much as this as possible, which is not much at all. Power up these machines. Get the iron producing again. Actually, we might have enough because I've got this iron here, this iron here. Yeah, we've got enough for that. So one, two, three, four. We might actually... One, two, three, four. That's 2,000. 2,400. Yeah, we've got that. How much copper have we got now? Yeah, the copper needs more work. Um, we need uh, at least another 300-ish. So we need to get priority on power over here. Actually, why have I got all this over here? What's all of this? Storage. Gravel. Sand. Wait. Is this from what I've... Did I leave this here? I could all this copper here that's just sitting here. Maybe I'll just take that copper from out of there and put it into this storage and just get these powered. Because that's just going to be a quite a bit of... Saves the miners being requiring power right now. So I'm going to run back over to this canyon, gather as many of this as possible, and then just make sure we power them smelters to make the copper ingots. Okay, I don't know where I've run to, but I'm in a definitely a different place i'm literally describing what is that what is this I'm very happy to see that the freight elevator is still intact not sure if it actually works but jesus it would not have been easy to rebuild from scratch let's take a look freight elevator that is huge there's loads of items in here as well red miners i guarantee we're not gonna be able to enter this place are we let me uh scan take that I don't even think we'll be able to enter this. Facility access door unavailable. Restore freight elevator. Restore the operations freight operations. And this is offline. EPS system offline. Critical failure. Additional production terminal upgrades required to restore emergency power. We've already examined this. Check your log. Okay. I would like to get into there though. Can I glitch my way in? I'm going to guess it's a full cage all the way around. So it's got an entrance for the uh, big power cable here and so many like... Ins oh my god, there's more of them. Is there more around here? Jesus. Like a space elevator. But we'll keep an eye on, on that and see what we come across. But for now, I guess we'll get all these powered with the biomass that we've just collected. Get the copper up and running so we can get a couple more hundred. And let's just check on the... Oh, we ran, so ran out of power. Uh, how many of the frames we've actually made? 64. Oh, we're going to have to wait a while to get them done. So I guess the only thing I need, really need to do now is just wait for this to get done. Keep an eye on that biomass. And then make sure I keep cranking. Okay, so after quite a bit later, I've done some readjustments here. I've managed to get all of the, uh, the frames I needed. I've got the iron, I've got the copper... Now it's just a matter of turning this in to get this next objective done. And then we can just put that into there, or that into there, and then that into there, and then boop.
another tier unlocked, which means more stuff. New technologies and recommended tasks available. So if we look into energy now, we can then kind of go for the water wheel, which we need 30 science for. I feel like I need to look into maybe automating science. We've also got rail runners, suit speeds. What else we got? Monorail system, but we need blue science for that. Smelting speed three. Fiber decomposition. And bio bricks. Bio bricks. What does that require? Plant matter and limestone. We definitely need to look into uh, stronger fuel and more efficient fuel. Because this is the whole cooling system, right? And then we've got terraforming, mining charges, moles, and flatten, science, blue science, mass deconstructs. Mass deconstructs is uh, something I need to actually unlock. I'm kind of tired of just pressing F to go into dismantle mode and individually click. Wall lights, light sticks, core composer. This is what we have right here. We can put one of these down. The tech tree is really opening up now, Breaker. Right. Water wheels and mining charges are both going to be things I promise you won't know how you got this far without. Time to go boom boom. Will probably help you open up a lot of broken, overheated facility doors in the sector too. And keep an eye out for those blue research core fragments. I will do, Sparks. But I think I got majority of what I wanted to do done, which is kind of just work on that little power section over there. It seems so small, but... It's kind of a big step in uh, the right direction. Plus, we unlocked a lot of new stuff as well. So make sure to check out my other content right here. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep bloody smiling. And I'll see you in the next video.